Hello and welcome to Hexen Death Kings of the Dark Citadel Part 4. My very hard playthrough. Uh, last time uh, we actually finished the first hub, which means we're about one third of the way through the expansion. Uh, the expansion I believe is only three hubs long. There is a fourth hub listed, but that is from what I've read only for deathmatch and multiplayer. So yes. Uh, this new hub which we're on. Can I explain much of it? Um, I think I actually did a little, uh, about a, a, one or two parts of it last time. Um, we've been going around collecting these heads of these statues to put them on. The statues where they're missing the heads. <laughs> Oddly enough. And, let's see. Yes, this one. Locus Resquiesca. Requ requiescat. Um, and there's a lot of Reaver enemies around, which I haven't seen since the base game. Reavers are these floating skeletal things with horned heads or helmets, and they throw fireballs at you. They pop up out of the ground. Ah. Right, well... I think I was... There's, there's one right there. It just popped up out of the ground in front of me. Oh, there's another one. See? See what I mean? They just pop up out of the ground. Uh, I don't know whether they spawn in waves or whether there's just like spawners for them and every now and then a new one appears. I, th I think that might be the case. Because the last time they appeared, they kept popping up out of the ground as well. They're not terribly troublesome. I mean, I say that. Their shots still deal a lot of damage, like everything else. Uh, they don't need that much damage themselves, but... Okay, let's forget about that. We have these two portals to go into. Let's go here. Uh, oh, platinum helm and some fletchets. Oh, we're up here. Okay. Uh, this is an area there where these green serpents in there. There might actually be the entrance into the uh, secret area here. There was some mesh armor. Hmm. You can see we're over there. And... Right. So you can kind of see how the level's laid out. It's got like the central part to it. And then each one of those sort of areas branching off from the center, if I can point it out. Every uh, Each of these areas has one of the statues. And then it opens up like the area behind here. And I think each one of them leads to a portal. I can't really remember. <laughs> it's a little confusing, but... What isn't in this game? The puzzles are interesting though. I think the puzzles have gotten better. They're a bit more clear on what you're supposed to do. There we go. Ow. Thank you. We'll just save Hex... No. Hexen Death Kings... Part 4. So yes, this might only be like 5 or 6 parts, this. Don't hold me to that. If I get stuck on a puzzle or something, it might take longer. Actually, if that happens, I'll just look it up. If I take too long, so... Come on. It's not only that their shots deal a lot of damage, because of the difficulty, but also because of the difficulty, they fire them so frequently. They fire them so rapidly. Frequently, rapidly. Sorry. Ugh. Keep falling off there because the last step requires you to jump. But I keep hitting it and sliding off because I want to. What's it called? Strafe up the step. But then I end up sliding off the platform. Thanks. Uh, 
Okay. <laughs> ah, these reavers. They're not that much of a problem, I say. They're not really, they just require a bit of sidestepping. I think it's mostly that the game keeps spawning them all over the place. That's what I wanted. Some of that combined matter. There's one of the gold statues there. We've got the head on that one. I think we'd just put the head on the statue. That's why I was up there. Because I'd unlocked that area. And that was what I was to do next. I pulled that. That just leads to those two side areas. So... And there was this message last time as well. That's right. I remember I kept getting a message saying something about beware the spider's lair or something like that. I don't know what that was about. It seemed to pop up randomly. Okay. Yeah, we don't have the head for that one. Hmm. Ow. Ugh. You see, they sort of... <laughs> they end up just gathering in these areas. Because they spawn in all four of the areas, but you can hear them off in the distance. I don't want to spend all my time shooting them and wasting all of my uh, quartz flasks because I've, as far as I understand, they will just keep spawning. So, it's not really worth my time or resources to try and kill them all. I don't get anything from it, aside from satisfaction, but... Okay, let's see. I think I've been up here. Where am I? I'm south right, right now. Yeah. That leads to... Constable's Gate. This is the actual hub. This is... Okay. Yes, right. Um... As I said, this is all a bit confusing. Constable's Gate is the actual hub of this section of the game i don't know how the how to call it the second hub is constable's gate uh, rec uh what's it what was that other place we were called locus requiescat uh that is one of the side levels but i think the heads we have to find are in other levels as well So we're having to sort of go across multiple levels to find the heads for these statues. Which makes this area feel like a hub, which is why I might have called it a hub earlier, because... You know. But... Anyway. I just remembered, and I had to correct myself. This is not a hub, this is... This is one of the side levels. Okay. Now. That was where I was up. And I pressed that button up there. This one doesn't have a head. Excuse me. Did they all just spawn when I used that? I don't know. I don't think so. The Blood Scourge is good for dealing with them if they're grouped up because it goes through enemies, I believe, but and it homes in on them as well, but it does use up both mana types. I think they might have just all spawned in again. Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, 
And you see, when I put the head on the statue, these trees disappear, allowing me to get into that area. Well, I can't go through those trees until I find the head for the statue. Let's go this way. This is this area. I pulled that. <sighs> yeah, they just spawned there, see? Okay. So that's that one. That's that one. This is the one I haven't done. The east one. So if I go here, this is the one I was just looking at. Then this is this one. Let's go over here. Oh, I pulled that. There's these statues here. So there was an ice statue. There's these, like... Ooh, that's old. That's new. Do I feel lucky? Um... Oh, do I? Um... Oh. Oh, I see. Okay, so there's four buttons now. Good guess. Yay. Thank you. Just spawned a whole bunch of enemy, uh, a whole bunch of mana. Oh, and the portal's open. So if I press another one, you guessed wrong. Yeah, okay. Will it do that for all of them? Probably. Yep. Fine, fine. Well, I got the lucky guess the first time. And we got a bunch of ammunition. Okay. Let's go in here. This is this area. Okay. Uh, let's go back into Constable's Gate. And I need to... Excuse me. Stop adjusting my position on the chair. And, uh... uh have a look for another portal in here. Because I get the feeling that pulling those levers in there... Did something here. Hmm. I think you're just a centaur. Lightning proving to be ineffective when an enemy is next to a wall. Okay. Oh. Well, I can get back up there. Okay. Pulled that, pulled that, pulled that, pulled that. This is where I fought the Heresy Arc. This is important. I think this is for the end of the hub. I noted earlier on in the hub, right, right when I started this, uh, th this hub, in fact, uh, there was a red gem, and it was... It's kind of outside of this whole structure, if that makes sense. There was an area where I had to walk around in a cliff area. Um, I'm being I was being attacked by a whole bunch of serpents and slaughters, and I ran along the edge. Ooh, okay, I didn't get that. And, um, what'd that do? Oh, something opened behind it. Oh. Oh, I did get those two keys. Okay, so that's what I needed for them. Um, and there was a red gem up on a cliffside or something? What's this? Ordeal. Well, this is a new area.
<laughs> oh. Excuse me. Ends out of nowhere. Look at them marching off down the hallway. They got a purpose. They're attacking the mages? Okay. Oh, I see. This is just like a big... Gauntlet or something. Uh. <sighs> Let's not play the game and try and do a whole gauntlet thing. Okay, there we go. Now, boots of speed. Right. I see the game. Okay. Room of Death. And there's one of those statues. Okay, so this is the area where that statue is located. Excuse me. Just jump on the dead body. Who disturbs our slumber? Oh. Great. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> That's the first, I think, time I've seen a message like that in the game. Maybe. Oh, I think they've got a unique death animation when you give them as well. Yeah, they usually burn away with that red um, effect. But when you give them, they uh, part turn it into a pile of bloody bones. Okay. There we go. Got some more mana. And that. Let's go back in here. Did we clear this area out? I think we did. Ooh! Icon of the Defender. Pretty cool. I just gotta actually look up and remind myself for the secret area. because I've been doing so so that I don't miss them. Uh, here we go. Okay. It's accessible from a level which we haven't actually gotten to yet. So. We go here. Thank you. Apparently they're not real. I wonder how the game's doing that. Like having them there but not being able to take damage. Okay, um... I could use the icon of the defender that would repel all of their shots. And these. Icon of the Defender only lasts for a short while.
I should actually call these enemy bishops, because that's what they're known as in the game. Excuse me. There's so many of you. Get out of here. Okay. There we go. And I'll save. Pull that. Let's get this. <clears throat> Pull that. It's a trap. Plain and simple. You can't... I don't think you can get that fast enough. Unless you maybe wear the boots of speed. But I'm not going to waste boots of speed on that. Not that I think I've ever used the boots of speed. There's the exit, but... Hmm. What do these do? Apart from summon wizards. There we go. And... You. Good. Get that crystal vial. Save again. Uh, and I pulled all the... Uh, witches here. I pulled that one. I pulled that one. Pulled that one. There is this here. But I don't have the castle key for that. Oh, hello. I was wondering what was making all that noise. The hallway is full of bishops. Wizards. One or the other. I think I'll probably just keep calling them wizards. What they look like to me. You. There we go. I can deal with these green serpents in peace. Relative peace, anyway. There we go. Good, good. No, oh, oh, there's another one. Any more green mana? There we go. Ooh, I think there's some up here. There we go. Doink. Okay. Can't open that. The button for that might be behind the castle key area. So, if I. Oh, that's not a bottomless pit, actually. I go in front of you, you shoot ice bombs, don't you? Thank you. You just pushed me off the edge. Right, let's drop down here. What's this? 
Well, it lowers a wall, okay. So that you can get back up. But that would be in the path of the, uh... Ice ball trap, wouldn't it? Yep. Okay. It's not really worth going down there. So. Let's just go through that portal. Nothing behind it. Oh, there is actually a Yorick skull. Good thing I checked. That's important. And we go through. And we're back here. The Yorick's skull item is uh, actually what we use in the uh, Locus Requies uh, Requiescat level to put on the statues. So there we go. We got the last one we need. I said this was a bit convoluted. Uh, and I think we need to go in here. Maybe? No, this is a marketplace. This is another level which we went into. It had a huge amount of slaughters in it. It was most unfun. I don't mind the slaughters as an enemy too much, but the game uses them a bit more than I would like, honestly. Okay, we go here, go in the portal, and we end up back in Constable's Gate. So if we go through here, we go back to here, and I think I need to go across... Uh, where's the portal which I went through to get to the uh, Locus Requiescat. Uh, it was that one over there. Okay. So I do need to go up there. That's just one of the areas I teleported from, isn't it? Uh, yeah, it is. Uh... No, let's go through... Hmm. Let's go up here. That, I think, changes the water levels. Oh no, that closed that gate over there. Yeah, you can see the arrows appeared again. Okay, I think I just want to have that open. I don't think I need to change it. Uh, we'll go over here. You better be all centaurs. I'm pretty sure the game does spawn in slaughters occasionally. Okay. Oh, hang on, actually, there's a, uh... Path over... Here or something I can use? Up there, apparently. But I can't get up there. Unless... I'm not expected to, like, jump across the trees, am I? Do that. Go from there onto there onto there and then over to there. I seriously doubt that. I mean, no, I couldn't jump that far. I 
That's the limit of my jump. And I can't get enough distance. Yeah. So that's not what you're supposed to do, I'm pretty sure. Uh Hmm. Okay, let's go back and around here. I want. I'm pretty sure I got to the level by going down here. Then I got up there. Oh, bruh. that's it there. Doi. Okay. Hey, all, your, hello all of you Reavisods. I don't know whether the levels spawn monsters in when you're not in the level. I don't actually know how Hexen handles its uh, levels. Whether they're, they're like always present in memory or whether it does offload them when you're not in them. But there's no loading screens so I would have to assume from that, I would kind of assume that they're always in memory, but that seems like it would be extremely taxing, so it mustn't do that. Uh, it would have been taxing on the computers at the time. Um, okay, so we've got one of the heads. We need to put the head on the statue, and that is the east one, which is this one. There we go. More Reaver spawn, lovely. Okay. Thank you for hitting me there. Ugh. It's all going fine, and then I try and dodge away, and then dodge back, and... Yeah, you can see the uh, blood scourge. It has an explosive effect on it, and it seems like a number of items, if objects in the game have an effect attached to them if they're hit by an explosive. And like the trees e explode in a big flaming pillar. Rather neat, though we don't get to see it that often because I don't really have that many uh, explosive items. Which is a bit of a shame. Only the Blood Scourge, and I'm not going to be shooting that at random trees. These trees are destructible. Oh. Shane. Duh. Okay, this is a red pillar area. There we go. Hey, wizard. Wizards. Oh, there's a crater up there. The uh, goblet thing. Hmm. Okay, there's no uh, buttons on those walls there. Yeah, you 
can climb up there. Uh. I think Reavers are behind. Getting, trying to get to me from behind. I can hear them. Okay. Ooh, Grizzly. Hello, how's it all going? Uh, hmm. What's the point of this area? I have to get up there, but... Is there a button out in that, uh... Oh, I think I see. Oh, wizard, wizard, where did you come from? In there. Uh, excuse me, you what? Um. This seems like a terrible oversight, game developers. Right, don't fall down there. You can't get out. Why would they have... Like that? I mean, it's just there. Can I get in there? I don't think so. Ugh. Can destroy those. I feel terrible, but part of me, you might have a some a thing behind you. Oh, that's open. Okay, I have to go into those alcoves to open an area back here. Right. Okay. Oh, that's there. They're just bitmap files? Hmm? You mean the corpses? <laughs> I shouldn't feel too bad about it. Surely they'd understand. My character is on a quest for good. And... Defeating the evil forces. Uh... Right. I, d I checked back here. Yeah. Okay. So there wasn't anything up there. I was expecting a button or something. There's still that other area. Also, welcome. Oh. Damn it. We've been making progress found one of the the last of the uh, skulls which we require for the statues in this area it's kind of like a scavenger hunt across different levels which I don't really mind this is however kind of dumb there's a hole there, and you can't get out of it if you fall down it. Okay. I'm trying to go home, I think. Yeah, right. That's it. I've already defeated a big bad. I kind of assume we'll have other bads. Big bads to defeat. You have defiled Eric's tomb! No! And now you die. Okay, I'm leaving. Not Eric. Uh, 
I would not call that a quest for good. Well, it's like the aftermath of a quest for good. I don't know. I think our characters are good guys. I don't know whether they're supposed to be anti-heroes or not. I think they're supposed to be pretty good. Um, hmm. So we did this. And there was no buttons. So now what? Oh, maybe a thing in the center's done now that I've got all the statue heads. Uh. Reavers. Oh! Ow. Come on. <sighs> Double kill. No. What would it be? I don't know. I don't, I don't think I don't think there's a uh, thing in Unreal Tournament for when both people manage to off themselves at the same time. Oop, blue mana. Hmm. Okay. Well. I go up here and onto here. I would like to get into that bit up there where that reaver is, or those reavers are. But I'm not seeing any uh, bridge to get over there. Hmm. Can I lower it? Nope. Oh. Fuck. Oh. I, have I been in there? Yeah, I have. Yeah, that's that. Hmm. Yeah. <sighs> what's it say? Succumbed to a bishop's dark power. Okay. Do I have to destroy all the corpses? Nope. Oh. There's absolutely nothing up here. No. Hmm. <sighs> oh, Reavers. They deal slaughter's levels of damage. Except they don't block, but they attack just as fast. Okay, this is just nothing, I think. I think this is just another, like, developer's gravestone area or something. Yeah, well, I'll put the head on you. You're the one which I didn't need to put a head on. Well, in the first game, you're you are. Uh, in the first game, you are a heretic. That's usually not considered to be a good thing. In the first game, you are a heretic, but it is a good thing because you're a heretic to the uh, dark teachings of the Sparrow. They brand you a heretic for not for not submitting to the power of the Sparrow. So, I think heretic heretic usually has negative connotations, but. It is, I believe, in itself a uh, kind of a neutral thing. I think it's just like heretics, just like a divergence from the uh, accepted, like if it's good or not depends on the winning side. 
I kind of feel like the Sparrow having killed a whole bunch of human, a whole bunch of like people of the plane which Corvus is from, and uh, I think bending everyone else to their will would pr label him as a pretty bad person from the get go. Can't remember the plot exactly of Heretic. And also, all of his teleporting around. No good guy would be that annoying to fight. Ugh. Okay, what am I doing here? I need a focus. I need a moment to breathe. These things just keep spawning and I just keep attacking them. Oh, ow. It's a wrong Hexen. Hexen is a German word which means uh, witch in this context. Like de Hexen or. Okay, let's. Uh, I don't know. Let me see. What have I got? I've got two keys. I put all the heads on the statues. Did that do something? Yeah. Hex dare past pro past past participle gehexed auxiliary harbin. To perform witchcraft, cast a spell spells to work miracle miracles. Yep. Be where we get the uh word to heck hex someone or to cast a spell on someone. I honestly think they just chose the word Hexen because it's like, oh, magic or witchcraft. I mean, the warrior is not really a spellcaster, so. Okay, fine. Uh, I want to find a way up into there. Obviously, though, there is no way to get up there. So we'll just exit this area. If these things will let me. And we'll go to another area. I put all the heads on the statues. Doom, quake, strife, blood. Yeah. It's like what sounds appropriately metal. <laughs> right, let's have a look at the uh, marketplace. Because I feel like I didn't do what I needed to do here. See, the thing is, I get kind of confused because it's like we're looking for those uh, What's it called? We were looking for those uh, gold heads, but they're actually for another level. They're not for the hub, and I don't know what you need for the hub. And then it's like, right, trying to keep it all um, in your head is. Hmm. I did get that button over there, didn't I? I don't know what that button does. <sighs> I 
like a gallows here. Or, um, I haven't gone in there. Hey, there's a portal in there. Good thing I enjoy shooting random windows. Oh, actually, I have been in there. Or did that just open when I shot the glass? Apparently the latter. Excuse me. Okay. And we go here. And then we teleport. Oh, over to the other side. Okay. That's actually all the enemies dead in this level. That's quite thorough. Um, here. Yep. And we'll just exit. Okay. So now what? I did get any message, I don't think, when I put the uh, head on that statue. I want to try and go out again to that area which had the uh, gem on it, but that was back a bit, and I... Where was that exactly? That was... Did we? It's actually a set out here. We might have spawned in the level up there. But then I jumped across there. Yeah, the red gem's up there. Okay, okay, I know. So, I was thinking it was in another area. But that's the red gem up there. We need that. So how do we get that? Hmm. I don't have wings of wrath, do I? Oh, uh, the game has given me Wings of Wrath, but it seems to take them away very quickly. Okay, and this is an area which I've already gone through. I believe there's another level. Because looking up the secret level, uh, there's another level I believe called Treasury, which I haven't been to yet. This is Ordeal, and it was. It's like a gauntlet, and you just have to run through to the end, kind of. And there's all these traps and everything. I haven't been in there. So let's do that. As you can tell from all the uh, serpents. Hey, you. I didn't mean to do that, but that was quite cool. <laughs> Pun not intended. Okay. There you go. This map, look, this map actually looks like a heretic map. Most... It has some colour to it. Most hexa maps seem to be very brownish. Yes. I, I do think... While having, like... You know... A dark oppressive atmosphere by a limited... Or muted colour palette helps. You can have brighter colours in a thing and still have it look dark and gloomy. It depends on how you use them. It's not with the puns, don't be so childish. <laughs> oh, ow. Uh, okay, uh, let's see. Was there a door here? Nope. There? Nope. What was the point of that? Over there. Nothing. There is a door at the end there. 
Do I have to just tank that trap? I don't like this idea. Because it revol- it, it, it inevitably in involves that. You could duck underneath it. But ducking is cheating, so I shouldn't do that. If I fall down there, I just have- it lowers this bit here for me to get back up, so I have to run across it again anyway. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. There's got to be a better way to do this. Does it shoot in volleys? Doesn't seem to shoot all the time. Maybe there's a trick to it. Maybe it's those blood spots on it? On the platform? I thought that before, but... Oh yeah, there's one there. How do I stop myself from hitting them? Because I don't think you can jump over them. Can I jump over them? No, oh, I can. No. Excuse me. No, I can't. There's a trigger which occurs when I pass over it. I do think you could jump over it. There's not verticality in this game, really. I mean, the way I did it before was using a uh, icon of the defender, but I don't really want to have to use an icon of the defender every time I want to go down this path. Maybe I can do this. I could also use a reflection. That might help. Actually, that's not too bad of an idea. But it's just relying on an item to get through it. Because you'd have to use one every time you wanted to. Yeah. And of course I didn't stick the landing at the end. You try and press yourself up against the wall when you jump and you don't travel that far. Fine, good enough. There's this door there. Uh, there's probably some health in here. Okay. Get that. Uh, there would not be some health here. Oh, there's some. Yoink. Okay. So, I mean, we got through that. And I got the skull. The, one of the uh, statue's heads was behind here. So... And I pulled both of those. That's a trap. That just comes down and squishes you if you try and get it. I need the castle key for that. That is that, yes, okay. Hmm. 
Respawning enemies are somewhat annoying. Yeah. I didn't mind it so much when it was just Etten's. And that, maybe they could have added efforts to that, but having other things, yeah. I don't know. Anyway, um, can I get through there? I don't raise all over the water levels. Press that button. There is that one up there. Hmm. What's in here? Marketplace. I feel like we're kind of nearly done with this hob. Uh, and in there is... Well, it goes back. Okay. Oh, maybe I'm in an area which I can't actually travel back to that other one yet. It's hard to keep track. If I turn that off... That closes that up there. Um, I wonder if that would affect anything else. Well, I don't think so, but... I mean, at least these aren't slaughters. As far as I know, that pulling that just opens that up. So there's not really a reason why I'd twist it again. It doesn't raise all over the wall level. So there's nothing else to be gained from it. Uh, I would like to go up there. Have I been? That's, that's where I came from originally. Hmm. I wish they had some way to distinguish them. Me too. Be very useful. Okay. That area up there is... Right, that's that portal. Okay. So there's a portal there, a portal there. There's a portal down there. There's something else in there? Let's have a look. Oh no, that's just... Okay, that's just a small alcove. That's nothing. I've got to be missing something in here then. Apart from getting my face blasted off by reavers. Kind of wish the game would let up on the spawns just so that you don't get shot by reavers as soon as you portal into a level. Okay. Well, so how would we get up there? That is the obvious question. I would have thought it would have occurred when I put all the heads on statues. Do I have to use them? No. I went into this whole area and there was no buttons to press. Why not? I went down there, I went into these little alcoves here, that opened that passage over there where that bishop is standing. There's this here, there was a single item up there. that again. I'm just trying to tick things off in my head. 
Alright. There's no buttons around behind here, is there? No. So, I went up here. Whatever, you can stay down there. So I went in here. There's nothing here. I went in here. This just led around to this room where there was seemingly nothing. We just checked the walls. This isn't a case this isn't a case where a part of the wall that just looks like a part of the wall is actually a door, is it? Because the game has had some things like that where a door is actually very similar looking to the rest of the area. What's this area here? But again, as far as I can tell, this is nothing. This is just a, a developer's sort of secret tomb, as it were. It looks like actually that opened up for something. I bet the not have been getting all the heads on statues opened that up and that was just a complete easter egg. check up here and then I think I will just look it up because I've been going around and I can't find anything nothing in here this is all for ice see I pulled that so that's for an ice area um, I assume those statues correspond to specific levels Try and get get up on that ledge again. Or not? I'm just back here. No, wait. Okay, this one. So I go here. Go up here. I pulled that. Those just lead to... So, do I have to like, finagle my way along here? Somehow I doubt it. I'm gonna look it up. Let's see. Uh, here we go. Uh, 
and each of these areas is a switch, all three of which must be pressed to access the castle key. Ah, <sighs> really? It's not really required anywhere else. To go round to this side again. I'm losing my patience with you, Reavers. Okay. Yes, you need to destroy all the corpses to open up that. I don't know why the game decided that that was why what you would need to do to do that, but the crypt is open. Okay, fine. If you're gonna have something like that, at least make it obvious that what I'm doing is Required. I don't know. Ah, right, right, right. Let's just wait for them to come out of their cubby hole in the center. I'm actually going to use one of these just so I stop taking quite as much damage. There we go. And there's the castle key. Okay, well. Fine enough level, except for that one last part where you had to destroy the corpses to be able to. Thanks, game. Um, to access the last switch. The other areas didn't require anything like that. Anyway. That aside, it was fine. Now that we have the uh, castle key. We can actually uh, exit this place. At least make a clue or something so I have an idea about it. Yeah, I mean... Okay, you have to destroy the corpses. That's fine, but you need some kind of feedback to actually say, Oh, destroying the corpses is doing something. Like, I don't know, you hear a wall rumble, or I don't know. Something. The ward is weakening. I mean, it's like I can destroy... And the things which I can destroy aren't really... 
Sometimes you have to destroy trees to uh, get behind them. There was actually something else in that level. Uh, East statue. Uh, okay. The left exit is where you need to go here. Destroying the tree opens a wall behind you leading up to the small windowed room containing a couple of bishops who had been trying to attack you through a window that was too small for them to fire through, along with a crater of might. Apparently a tree opened a wall behind me, but I'm either I destroyed the tree in the battle and didn't notice that it had done something, or one of the enemies might have destroyed it. I don't know if they can. Anyway, we've got the key. I think I need to go back to um I need to go back to ordeal for that so yes we go here along here over here your slaughters now you know game if they were just centaurs that would be fine Slaughter's is taking it a bit too far, however. Okay. And I need to go... Where? Cross this bridge again. Think. No, this isn't the right place. Ah. Uh. I'm just going to duck over that. <laughs> I didn't mean to come in here in the first place. Let's go over here. And I need to go, I think, actually to the marketplace. Which is this one. Okay. Maybe. And then... Maybe not. There's a door somewhere which I remember finding which was for the uh, castle key. And I've since forgotten where it was. Hmm. Um... What's it up here? No. 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 Okay. What's that castle key needed? I'm pretty sure it wasn't in here.
we'll have a look. Okay, it is in the ordeal area. I was correct. Uh, so we go here, then here, then we have to go along here, over here, and in here. Okay, it is in here. Is it over here? No, this is just where a whole bunch of Reavers were. And some items for us to use for our advancing through this puzzle. Uh, up there. That's my punishment. <laughs> See, it lowers it over here. Um. Oh, there it is. Ah. Okay. Now that we've pushed that, should open that door there. Yep. Okay. Ooh, more traps. I don't really want to think about what it would be like having to play this all as the warrior. Having to deal with these enemies not being able to reach them because you have to fight in melee for the most part would be quite annoying. There's stalkers in there. Oop. Okay. There we go. At least I'm getting some items for this. That's nice. I can restock all the items I used waffling around. He says. <laughs> the game can give us, the de game taketh away. That might actually be the end of Hub 2. Actually, no, because there is another level which we haven't gone to yet. And there's a secret level we haven't gone to yet. So. I bet you get the hammer early if that was the case. Oh yeah, that's right, the hammer is a ranged weapon, isn't it? I haven't actually played much as the other characters, so I can't remember what their uh, weapons are like. But it is true that the warrior's hammer, the second weapon he gets, is a ranged weapon. It like throws the hammer. So. 
Though I think it, it requires magic to throw. Can he beat people over the head with it if he runs out of mana or does it just not let you use it? Hmm. Okay, let's just go through the portal. Let's just hang back here a bit until we get rid of all these stalkers. Where are we now? Treasury! Here we go. So we just went from the ordeal level to the treasury level without going through the hub constable's gate. Hmm. Oh, you're the ones who are firing those at me. How do you get down here? I was always down here. Wizards in all curves. Needs must. Today this would be called bad level design. <laughs> I can understand why. Completely. Though, and you could hear that though off in the distance for a few miles, it does present quite a challenge. It is frustrating. There's possibly better ways they could do it. But rather than not doing it at all, perhaps thinking of a better way just to organize things out. I don't know. Make the area a bit bigger, perhaps. Put some things to draw your eyes to the Elkos where the wizards are located, rather than just having them in little Elkos which you have to sort of wait to be shot from to realize that there's someone up there. Like tapestries beneath them or something like that. Come on, wizard, where are you? <laughs> that was a whole bunch of, uh... Stalkers spawning in, I think. Yep. At least they can't move from the water. <laughs> Stuck behind barrels. No! Oh. Are you stuck there? You big dumb thing. I fear some serpents. 
sack in a corridor. Behind some barrels. Uh, I don't want to use that. Okay, okay. Now, if I use this. Yeah, okay. More efforts. That's a lot of effort. Thankfully, they're kind of weak. There we go. Boots of speed. Mana. Some quartz flasks. Nice, nice. Even better that I did all that without taking any or much damage. And we'll go up here. Careful of mages around the corner. Getting back to the thing about bad level design, sometimes I feel that in response for something being considered bad level design, uh, People tend to just remove it completely, rather than, I don't know, try and figure out a way to make it better, or... Something, I don't know. There we go. I didn't even really know that you could destroy those corpses until I started shooting them in that Locus Requies gut. Thank you, thank you. The one behind me was a treasure. I don't see why this level is called the treasury. Maybe there's a big room full of gold at the end of it. Who knows? We'll be rich beyond our wildest dreams. What are we going to do with all the money? Uh, hmm. It does seem to have a lot of vaults in it. Okay, there's a lever in there, or a switch. Hello. I think more creatures just spawned in. I do throw a lot of lightning around, or what do I call it? Uh -huh. I'm a bright spark. I'm a mage, after all. There we go. Health! Give me some health. There we go. Now, what was my reward for all that? Another wizard. Poof. A porkulator. Okay. Not my preferred reward, but... Hmm. Did I pull that lever over there? Yeah, I did. 
I should probably make a habit out of shooting all the corpses. Just because the game expected me to do it before. Oh, there's another one up there, is there? Yes. Go lightning bolts! Shoot it. There we go. And... Mm. Oh. That's opened up. But there's no stairs there. that oh that was up here I didn't actually go in that room before okay I'm out of healing items. <laughs> Lovely. It's time to get good. Don't move the stairs. And Etten. Um. Health! Hooray! I kind of wish you had a kick command. Instead of having to swap to my wand to be able to destroy them. Reminds me of Dune 2, where your mobile rocket launchers have such ba bad accuracy they can actually hit targets behind you. <laughs> uh, that's one of the uh, strategy games made by Westwood, isn't it? I really like the soundtrack for Dune 1. It's done by uh, Stefan Picht, who is a very good musician and did m music for a number of games for the Amigas. Which for the Amiga, not the Amigas. Um, I would like to play them at some point, even if they are kind of archaic. Of the, you know, you can only, like, place one building at a time kind of thing. I believe, I imagine they're, like, proto-command and conquers. But I don't... But yes. If you haven't, I would recommend listening to the soundtrack for Dune 1, or the... What would you call it? There's like a... Sound... Uh, there's like a... Music... Compilation thing done by Stefan Picht, or Dune 1, called uh, Spice Opera, which is very good. You can only choose one unit, one unit, choose one unit at a time, no drag and drop. Yeah, right. If you want to move a whole army, or multiple units, you have to <laughs> click and tell them to move individually. Such as older strategy games. The older strategy game I've played. Um, I have played Warcraft, the original Warcraft. 
I might do that at some time. I actually liked Warcraft 1 quite a bit. Um, maybe on par with Warcraft 2? Warcraft 2 does look better. But it always bugged me a little how Warcraft 2, the two factions are basically the same to each other. Um... Actually, I can do that whole thing a bit better, can't I? I need to be stop being so stingy. There we go. But yeah, I liked Warcraft 1. Uh, what for? I don't know, it had interesting um, having to place roads to place buildings down and... Um, all that. <laughs> Though, I do remember, at least in my campaign, levels became pretty much uh, get to the ability to uh, create wizards and then just summon uh, water elementals and get them to do all the heavy lifting for you. <laughs> because they're free and you can just create heaps of them and send them to the enemy base and they're really powerful. Only difference is the spells, I believe. Yes, spells and some of the upgrades for units uh, between the orcs and the humans in Warcraft 2. I believe even in the upgrades, let me, I'm trying to remember. The one I remember is the troll, is the um, troll axe throwers get berserking or get regeneration which means they slowly regenerate their health over time and I think they get berserking which might increase their damage by a little bit and then the elven archers for the humans have I think one extra range and I think maybe a greater view distance or something like that yeah it's it's very little difference Really not as much as you'd think. Um, I do kind of prefer Warcraft 3 over that because there's much more of a difference between the units and the factions. Though I can understand the uh, s the similarity between the factions is a, a appealing aspect of it because apart from an aesthetic, you're, you know the battle is sort of even in a way. But I do tend to like asymmetry to uh, symmetry in games, whether it's maps or factions. Um, a, another strategy game I rather enjoyed is, uh, oh, what's it called? Uh, Earth Assault, un no, is it? Universe at War, Earth Assault or something like that is made by uh, Petroglyph. The uh, company which formed after Westwood disappeared, and it involves three different alien race, alien races fighting it out on Earth. You have the hierarchy, which are all these massive, stompy robot, stompy mobile factories. You have the Novus, which are sort of sleek robots which recycle all the buildings and. just make hordes of little robots and all that and they also have a lot of uh tech to do with like putting viruses into other uh, into vehicle into buildings and vehicles and um you have the uh, uh what are they called Vasari, i think I don't want to get confused with the Sins of a Solar Empire race because it's very similar in name. And they actually have more traditional base building. Um, and they have generators which they get their power from. Anyway. Uh, but yes, in Warcraft 2, the spells are... Oh, uh, you get raised dead. You have death and decay. 
Um, the spells for the Ogre Magi is also different from the Paladin. They have like... Oh, what are they called? Runes of Agony or something like that. Uh, berserking. And so on, whereas the Paladin has heal. And true sight? Something like that. Death and Decay is fun, yes. Oh, and also the, uh... Oh, what's it called? Death Vortex? Is that...? Yeah, and the, uh... Wizard on the, uh, human side has... Ice Storm, I think. I have Killrog. Yeah, that's another one. Yeah, so, instead of getting, uh, True Sight or... View Terrain or whatever it's called... You get Eye of Killrog, which is a little eyeball you can summon to move around for a short time. I did like that the uh, Warlocks in War World of Warcraft could summon the Eye of Killrog. That was fun. Can you still do that? I don't know. They've changed the Warlock class so much. We move. In your name, defending your honor. <laughs> Just style. <laughs> and the voice gets all echoey when they become paladins. Uh, I always, I really do like the visual style of Warcraft too. I'm talking about other things because at the moment it's just dealing with hordes of enemies and not much to really say about the game in itself. Another room full of enemies. So. I never actually had Warcraft 2 growing up. One of my friends had it. And I always kind of wanted to borrow it from him, but... I don't know. And then later on I actually did get it. There we go. Another brown serpent down. Oh, Reavers. How nice. Let's just blast the room away. There's no one behind me, is there? kind of feel like the weapons just need a bit more tweaking to them to get them to function a little bit better. Blah. You prefer Brood Wars for strategy games? Ugh, Reaver. Yeah, I enjoyed StarCraft um, a lot. Though as I said, I was never particularly good at it, so I always ended up cheating out of frustration because the AI would always <laughs> rush me. Perhaps because I always cheated, I never actually, uh, got good. I don't know, I prefer taking my time and building up, and I don't think StarCraft's really good for that. <laughs> Neither is Warcraft 2, for that matter. Or Warcraft. None of the Blizzard games are really good for turtling. Warcraft 2 is a little forgiving, in a, to a degree, because the AI is so dumb that it... <laughs> some of the levels, it just gets stuck behind walls and it never attacks you. Because it's like, I'm sending my units to attack you! No, you're not. You're just sending them into a mountain range. And they're getting stuck there. Okay. Oh, you're bad at the games too. <laughs> oh. And as I've been told, these are uh, stalkers. There's actually two different types of them. There's the normal stalkers, and then there's the stalker gods or something, which are the ones which actually shoot the. Uh, bolts at me, which I thought they were exactly the same.
Am I done? Have I killed you all? Good. Hmm. Okay. Oh yes, right. Also, in here is the uh, access to the secret level. Are we going for time? Hmm. I might be able to start on the secret level. Um, I'm just going to have to look up the way to do that. More enemies spawn in. This level was quite the ordeal. Perhaps it should have been called that instead of treasury. But then there's already a level called ordeal and that was also an ordeal. All the levels should be called ordeal. There goes all my healing again, because the game apparently decided to spawn green serpents in. Red Alert 2, the enemies attack at one place and they constantly only attack that one place. <laughs> yeah, I remember the AI in Age of Empires was kind of thick. Uh, if it wasn't able to place a building in a specific location, it would just hang and would sit there doing nothing. If there was a tree where it wanted to place a barracks, it wouldn't try and place a barracks somewhere else. It would just stop because it wasn't able to place a barracks and then proceed through its uh, build list. Stalker is a fun game. Stalker is a fun game. I do like Stalker. Shadow of Chernobyl or Call Appropriate. Uh, is there still Supreme Commander? Uh, yes, I will be getting to Supreme Commander soonish. I'm just going to have a look at the uh, secret level for this. And, and then I'll move on to that. Because I wanted to do two hours of this and maybe an hour of that. So, Oh! Sorry! Pardon me. I see what you mean. I have had the category wrong the whole time. I apologize. This is actually Hexen! Oh man, I am such a fool. I am getting to uh, Supreme Commander. So yes, sorry for that. Welcome anyway, I apologize for that. Uh, pick up. Right, we, we are in Treasury and... To your left, hanging over a drop is a mesh armor picking up. Getting it means you have to drop down the hole, which at cost leaves you standing at the bottom of the first set of stairs. Okay. So it's over here. Yep. And I have to drop down here. Ow. And then I follow the stairs up again. And then apparently a place should have opened in front of me. Leading to a portal? Okay. Um... I just want to find the entrance to this, and then I'll probably swap over, because we've been going on for two hours. Um, hmm. I want to def defeat you, because from what I understand it teleports me through these little alcoves before I uh, get to the uh, entrance to the secret level. How many flights of stairs? Let's see. Straight ahead is a chaos device. Okay. So, I dropped down here. No. Excuse me.
Um. Hmm. I said straight ahead is a chaos device. Oh, open it to my right. No. Well, my right is out here. Wait, if I drop down, I'm facing this way. Yeah. Okay. Maybe I have to go back around. And... Do I have a mystic urn or something? No. Booger. Uh. I might not be able to survive another fall. Uh, we'll go back up. Don't see. So I got that, and it says to the right. The wall should have opened up. Eh, let me have a look on the map. Uh, let's see. To the left, hanging over a drop is a mesh armor pickup. Getting it means you have to drop down the hole, which, at the cost of a little health, leaves you standing at the bottom of the first set of stairs again. To access the secret level, you have to take the drop and then work your way back up here. Straight ahead is a chaos device. As you approach it, or where it was if you have already picked it up, assuming you fell down and dropped the above mentioned mesh armor was over, a wall will open to your right, revealing a teleporter that leads to a series of teleporters that will take you to the various pens from which dark bishops were firing into the pool area at you. One of these pens is a portal of the hub's secret map. So, I drop down there. And... I'm going to carry this over here, just so I can see the differences between this map and my map. I'll reload. Okay, let's see. So, I'm there. I drop down. Go up the stairs. Yep. Okay. And right. Oh. Okay. I think I see where it is. Yeah, it's a lot further than it was making it out to be. It's just like fall down and then make your way. And I expected it to be somewhere down there. I believe, in fact, it's all the way up. back up where you first dropped down. So, I was thinking it was actually closer to where I dropped down than that. So it should be here. Let's just use that in case there's any serpents in here. Okay. Or afrits. Maybe I didn't need to use it. Okay, probably best that I used it. And that should be the access to the secret level. Yep, armory. And I'm burned by an effort. <laughs> uh, let's get some health. If the game will let me. I'll just clear out this first. He says...
I got the Hammer of Retribution. I can't use it though. Yeah, that's right. I read that this uh, secret level actually apparently has the weapons for all the all the classes in it. Okay, let's just hide here. And I'll save. Or should I advance until we manage to clear out the area a bit? I would prefer not to have to come back to a huge horde of enemies attacking me. So. Like that. Well, that's all right then. Okay. I think we'll leave it. This is a Steel Guardian all over again. Uh, kind of looks like it. Okay, well, I think we'll leave uh, Hexen there for tonight. We'll be able to start on the secret level next time. Uh, yes, oh boy, what fun it's going to be. All those uh, reavers and slaughters and imps everywhere. I said, I don't really mind the enemies, it's just when they put them in narrow corridors like this, I don't really have a good answer for them. The ice shards aren't good enough to really hit, really deal damage to them. My sapphire wand is alright, but they can shoot me while I'm using it. And I can't snipe them around corners with it. The uh, lightning is the best attack, but it hit, it, it, if it's a narrow corridor, the lightning, even if it hits an enemy, tends to dissipate. Because it's like, it hits the enemy and then it thinks it hits a wall, so it disappears. And the Blood Scourge isn't very useful in that situation either, because they fly all over the place and hit the walls. Anyway, this is all stuff I've repeated before, so, yes. Now we'll leave it there for today. Well, thank you very much for watching, and I hope you'll join me again next time. I'll stop the recording here.